welcome back to another Matto FM YouTube video so in today's video I will be showing you how I received lightning strikes with my RTL SDR you can do this at home just be reminded that this this has potential to destroy your SDR or in my case my RTL SDR V4 let me show you what do I mean by receiving lightning strikes uh, on my RTL SDR. So first of all, the thing is, I am not going to be able to see from where or what location or how far the lightning strike has come from. I am only going to be able to hear the lightning strike. That's my definition of uh, what I am basically going to do in this video. So, why do lightning strikes make noise on frequencies like FM, AM, shortwave? It's because a lightning strike is basically like a broadband radio transmitter, but one that major is made. When it happens, it emits electromagnetic radiation across a huge, a huge range of frequencies, uh, from long wave up to ultra high frequencies. And the thing is, I listened to the lightning strikes at about 100, 124 megahertz, if I remember correctly. It's in the range of very high frequencies, if I am correct, which is VHF. And uh, you can hear it perfectly fine if the lightning strikes are really close, within like a 50 kilometer range or 31 miles for my... But yeah, um, the noise from lightning strikes is called Shefrix. Um, I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly. I'll probably put some text under there. I have no idea if I even put any text down there, but whatever. Um, so yeah, um, it's short. It's short for atmospheric radio noise. But that's about it, guys. That's about it. This is a spectrum from my RTL SDR here. So there's currently technically no thunderstorm outside, though there are a few lightning strikes every now and then. So you can see like this is the waterfall. So the higher the signal, like the stronger the signal, as you can see here on this radio station, the brighter the waterfall gets. So this is a basic understanding of how all of this works. This is where I recorded my lightning strike recordings of, you know, like the noise from uh, lightning strikes so I just went on AM and then I make this pretty big and then I record like that like from from this I record it so as you can see this is the video that I recorded during the thunderstorm so as you can see the noise floor is about at minus 75 dBFS I believe so it's dBF yeah um, and you can see that it kind of jumps a bit because of the lightning strikes so you can see in the video if you're looking at the noise floor you can see it jump a little bit which is the moment like like right now when there's a lightning strike that was like near my house that hit somewhere and it just it makes noise and it usually just disrupts uh communication like this like fm am shortwave you know and yeah, it, it, sometimes they can be pretty, pretty disruptive, but you know, it's not too bad, especially on FM. Most of these radio stations are way above the noise floor and noise floor when uh, the lightning strike hits. So uh, the lightning strikes don't really do anything to these radio stations. It's all good. I honestly, I'm amazed that how this, like how lightning strikes do this. Like it's, it's pretty fascinating that they can just do this they can just like increase the noise floor across a wide range of frequencies but now it's time to show you what i recorded today aka the 20th of april 
So in the video you're gonna see, I am gonna show you a few lightning strikes that I recorded with my security camera and which I captured on 124 megahertz using my RTL SDR. Oh, it is, it is so cool. I mean, it's not that cool, but it's still pretty cool. So after a long time of just hearing pure static and looking into the darkness, well, yes, there's some occasional lightning strikes like this one. But after a bit, I finally got a nice looking lightning strike and a nice sound from it on 124 megahertz. Take a look and listen. This is really the only lightning strike that was physically visible and you could hear it. On 124 megahertz, you could also hear other lightning strikes that you couldn't see on camera. So you can take a listen to these too. Anyways guys, this is basically it for this video and I hope you like this video. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Dude, subscribe buttons down there, please, please, for the love of God, please subscribe because that would definitely enhance uh, this video's performance on YouTube and also like it because that will also enhance the performance of, of this video on YouTube. Anyways, yeah, have a good day, have a good evening, have a good night, have a good morning and um, yeah. Uh, see you in my next video. Peace.